guys. I'm feeling really pumped up about this topic, so I'm pretty much just going to dive in. I want to give you a manifesting tip that really blossomed in my head today, and I just have to share it with you. That tip is you need to, in order to unlock your full manifesting potential, you need to redefine your relationship with failure. You need to redefine that word for you, redefine what it means in your life, and redefine how you use it to help you get to where you want to go. So I'm in order to make this point, I'm just going to share with you a few of the, the stepping stones in my own personal business journey, looking at them from the lens of my current position, how I can see a series of failures that were actually a series of steps on the way to my success. So I'm just gonna share those with you and I want you to glean from this what you can. Your What you're manifesting may not be about business. It doesn't matter, this will still apply to you. So let me think, three-ish years ago, pre-COVID at least, <laughs> when we were in New York, um, we were traveling part-time but had not left full-time for the West Coast. And I was wanting to dive deeper into what I educated people on in my business. I wanted to go from just making YouTube videos to hosting events. This was my big plan on how Ivy and Light was going to become the full-blown success that I can see it in my head. I was going to start doing local events to build a local audience instead of just being behind the computer all the time. So I created a new moon intention setting and a full moon releasing and a, an intro to crystals workshop. I taught the new moon intention setting. I had two people come. I taught the crystal healing intro. I had three people come. I taught the full moon releasing. I had two people come. For many, 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 many people, that would be a resounding failure. The amount of hours, labor and love I put into those for only a couple of people to come. I put a lot of effort in for very little in the moment result. So I could say, well, that was a big bust. I guess I should try something else besides events. But I knew at this point I was working with my manifesting formula. I know it was important to me. I feel very strongly about it. I love the events that I created. Something will come of this. And many of my, my followers, my community, are going to recognize yourselves in this story if you're local to New York. And so, love to you. Uh, thank you for being some of those people who have been instrumental on my journey. But what happened, that seemed like a failure. Let me regroup. Let me decide what I wanna do next. All of a sudden, I get an offer to teach similar workshops at the Mercedes Club in Manhattan. So I went from well, that was a giant failure to someone thinks this is enough of a success that they want me to teach it at their really, really nice wellness club in the city. So I went and I taught those workshops. Then we left for the West Coast. I was so excited by the success of those events. They loved those events. I loved those events. I developed a couple other events while I was there. We traveled and I thought, I know, I'll do an event with one of my other wellness friends who lives in Wisconsin and we're going to Wisconsin for our travels. We planned this entire event. We went and we saw the space. We um, got essentially a contract on, okay, we're gonna do this when we get back in March of 2020. Travel the country, the last month we were on the road, I created all of these events that I was going to teach. I was also gonna start doing events at Artisan Fleas in the city when I came back. Spent an entire month working on this, got back to Wisconsin in time to do this event, my first collaborative in-person event, and COVID hit. That event got canceled. We didn't want to get anyone sick. And then we got stuck in Wisconsin. We couldn't make it back to New York. All the events I was supposed to do with Artists and Fleas fell through. None of this was going to happen. So I had wasted a month of my life planning all of these local events I was supposed to do, right? So the old me would have thought, again, what a waste of time, what a dead end. But I knew it wasn't a dead end. I knew, okay, I can't do local events. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to take these and somehow figure out how to put them online. 
So I started teaching my digestive health, sleep health, hormone health, 21 day detox, how to build your own wellness kit. I created this series of workshops and taught them online. And if you go to ivyandlight.com, you can still find those there. They still exist on the website. I taught these workshops to my community. I helped as many people as I could during this moment where we were all in an emergency situation of we need some more wellness tools in our grasp right now, right? From that, I thought, man, that was really easy for me and it was really fun. And what else can I do? And I created my first course, the Crystals and Oils course. Actually, first I created the online Crystals 101. That course became part of the online Crystals and Essential Oils. Guess what else went into that? The new moon intention setting, the full moon releasing, those became their own online workshops as well. All of these pieces that I had developed and taught to two to three people in New York a few years before, all of these pieces became pivotal in my ability to create these workshops, teach these, create these courses, teach these things online. If I had thought something not being an immediate resounding success equaled failure, then I would have set aside these ideas and never come back to them. But I knew they were great. I knew that I was inspired to make them so they must have value. So I kept all of my notes, I kept all of my cue cards, I kept all of the videos that I made, and all of that information became what are now my successful courses. So if I had not had the inspiration and then continued through the failure, they would not have become stepping stones to my success. That doesn't mean I couldn't have success, but I wouldn't have gotten to use all those things if I had thought that failure equaled dead end. Failure equaled waste of time. Not a single bit of that was a waste of time. To give you one more nugget about this, in even farther back than this, five, six years, I started teaching on Facebook, free workshops. Then I started coaching people. Then I created a group Facebook where you could learn all the things that I had to teach on meditation, manifesting, building confidence, um, crystal healing, healing with essential oils, everything in one Facebook group. Now, this Facebook group, from the out, an external perspective of somebody looking at my finances as a business owner, this Facebook group was a resounding failure. I made almost no money on it monthly because I made it such a, an affordable price point because I wanted everyone to have access. But I didn't have a big enough community for the people who wanted to have access to be enough people for me to sustain myself financially. But I had promised to create what turned out to be a course every single month in this group. I spent so much time and effort and love in this and the people who were in there, God bless you, I love you, you're still my favorites. They got so much out of this. But for me, it was unsustainable. I had to eventually say, I can't do this anymore. I have to pull back. I have to see what will work for me as well as for the people that I'm helping. As I pulled back from that, it felt very much like failure. And I had to pull back for almost an entire year before I was able to see the success within that. And then I started to a year later realize the value of what had been in that group, the 15 plus monthly focuses we had done in that group, which when I looked at other people's courses, what I had given them every month was more jam packed full of value than what most people were teaching courses on for several hundred dollars. So I had either 15 courses or 15 books in there that I could write. And I started telling people, oh man, I really want to write a book because I've got these 15 books just waiting to be published. And people looked at me like I was crazy. How could you possibly have written 15 books in 15 months? I just did. I just, I just said I would do it and I did it. And I finally found somebody who came to me one day and said, you know what, Erin, I think I think each one of those focuses is a book. I think every single one of those courses that you taught is either a course or it's a book. And I said, I know, <laughs> I know it is. And so that has led to what Crystal Gilbert and I are doing right now, which is taking the biggest, most passion filled, most helpful piece of that group, taking that as a seed and blossoming it into 
the Onward and Upward Manifesting Course, the 90-day intensive manifesting course. You can take it at your own pace if you want to. Jam-packed full of everything that I know about manifesting, plus everything that Crystal know knows about how to apply these things to your life and still end up with a balanced life, a life that is not great over here and terrible over here. So we, we're talking philosophy, we're talking science, we're talking structure, we're talking implementation, we're talking continued healing, growing, and motivation. All of those things that were just three months of the 15 months of that old Facebook group have turned into an expanded, deepened, improved version for this Onward and Upward Manifesting course. And now we're taking that and turning it into a book and the sky is the limit for what I do with the rest of the stuff that was in that Facebook group. So when you are running a business or you are trying to learn a new skill, you're learning to ride a bike or ski, or you're on a weight loss journey. If something that you are super passionate, excited about, inspired to do, you do it. And then it feels like a failure. I want you to redefine your relationship with that word and that experience. I want you to say, well, that did not fully blossom into the manifestation I wanted. So let me see that as an ingredient of my success. Let me take those what feel like chopped onions right now and set them aside. And let me keep working on the rest of my recipe. And at some point I'm gonna know exactly what to do with that bowl of chopped onions. Or to use another metaphor, you feel like this is a dead end. You get to a dead end in the maze of life and you say, well, I guess I should just turn around. No, I want you to redefine your relationship with failure. I want you to stop and say, okay, this either means it's time to take a break, get out the picnic lunch, and then take a break and see what I should do next. Or this is time for me to decide, is this a left or a right? Or this is time for me to build a ladder. But all it is, is a moment in time which can be used by you on your journey. So redefine your relationship with failure. Stop using that word, meaning this is my time and energy that I just have to throw away. No, this is time and energy that you have put in that therefore has value and can be used by you at a later point. And it's okay if you don't know what that is yet. So if you've done something that seems like a failure, I want you to know that that is okay. And in fact, it's more than okay it is an ingredient, it is a piece of your journey and you get to use it to reach that manifestation if and only if you will value it as such. So I want you this week to think of one thing that you thought was a failure and I want you to redefine it and I want you to say it out loud or write it down as many times as you need to to redefine it in your brain. And then I want you to wait for the moment where you realize, oh my goodness, that's how I'm supposed to use this thing. All right, guys, much love to you. I want you to go ahead to the next video. I'm creating a series of these manifesting tips. So whatever video I put right here, that is the video for you to go to next to learn something more. If you want to learn about our Onward and Upward course, it is here, it is gorgeous, it is ready for you. So you can go to the link in the description below, check that out. The price is going up soon. So I want you to take advantage of the current deal. Make sure that you get in now that gets you lifetime access and everything else that we add to it as we go. So it's going to be an incredible value for you. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment below or email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love you much. Talk to you soon.